Oh, we're going to build the wall. Don't worry about it. We're going to build it. At the end of last season, it was the wackiest, craziest first 100 days in the history of the American Republic. And it turns out, a year later, that it's even wackier. This shit is crazy. Is there a point at which Republicans say enough is enough? Every single day of this presidency is momentous and historic. This is not a reality show, but it is reality. The circus in season three, the prediction was that Trump would be going to Mars and the Democrats would be paying for it. And we're not far off. <laughs> <laughs> these are amazing characters, these people in the White House, on Capitol Hill. And our whole thing has always been pulling back the curtain to show the high human drama. We yeah. create a documentary every week. Yeah. And then we have to start all over again Monday. Anybody here undecided? Alex Wagner's <laughs> in the house. I'm joining the circus for the first time as a co-host. This is going to be the most consequential year in American politics, and there is literally no better place to be than the front row at the circus. We don't normally get this kind of press. <laughs> They're going to take it right down to the wire now. Ah. This next season will focus largely on the midterm election. Can you get the vote, Mr. President? Hey, so. If Donald Trump continues to create chaos, the House Democrats will be resurgent in November, and they will then lead impeachment proceedings against this president. Before 12 weeks ago, I was not what I would call an activist. And we're now having the big giant debates, not a conversation, but a shouting match over all this stuff at once. I hope that this committee's bipartisan investigation will result in a definitive report on the Russian actions taken during the election campaign. But amid all this chaos, there's been one constant, and that's the fact Donald Trump's broiled in this gigantic investigation. If this was completely above board, as the president says, why all the effort to hide it? Because of this presidency, because of the investigations going on, it becomes an existential threat to the president. What happens after Mueller concludes his investigation? What do they do with that information? Is Donald Trump going to be president a year from now? Anybody can do it. I think he can do it. No, I think he's a clown. In this season, <laughs> when the answers become known, our cameras will be on the scene. How's it looking, Mr. Vice President? All right. This is terra incognito. We said that it's going to test the guardrails of democracy, and that is surely happening. Whether it's dreamers, whether it's women, whether it's environmentalists, what happens in the wake of Trump? This is going to be a really wild ride.